Hello guys, welcome to my Cal6 clearing guide. So first I'm going to show you my runes I use for Cal6. I have this kind of runes. It's 5% cooldown reduction and 5% cooldown reduction at level 8, 15 damage and 9 armor. The most is pretty easy to explain. I have this 5% cooldown reduction for the early game so I can clear faster. And the extra 5 to get the 10% so you don't waste the total. And some extra magic resist that no it doesn't have <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, let's go to the item sets. Well this is my normal starting items, hunters. Uh, the hunters talisman and free pots. I actually don't start with uh, the refillable potion because I like to be a little more aggressive early game and I feel like the most of the game you can just win being with being aggressive in the early game. And after my first back, when I often get a kill or often just go back. I al often get free lo long swords and try to get the coffee warhammer and the pink ward and sometimes I have enough for boots. Sometimes you can just get free uh, long swords, a boot and uh, vision ward. The important thing that you get uh, some extra damage in the early game. And some some people don't realize that actually you get the full experience even if you only have the one part of the jungle item. So I often evaluate the long swords more as like the 20 extra damage instead of having a smite. It helps you clear a lot. Then I choose between uh, the warrior smite and uh, uh, the, the two uh, warrior smite, the red or the blue smite. The blue smite I often take if there are like a lot of squishy people and it's like more chasing and they're like immobile and your prime target just to kill them fast. And and I take the red smite often when I'm going against like G, Jax, Riven, people you need to like get away their fast burst. Okay, then I often try to go in to get the Call of Warhammer to get extra cool reduction and Stage Jerk to get the Ghost Blade. Always Ghost Blade after your jungle item and you want to get your boots upgraded then. Sometimes there are like AP support, AP jungle, AP mid. And maybe AP top, but if they're more than three APs or three APs, I often go more Mal Morris because the value you get from it is insane. And here's just a lot of CC. You get this a lot of like uh, damage. Like they have 80 carries, like G. No, not 80 carries, but I, I mean you get what I mean. They have a lot of auto attacking people. Then you have Timat and uh, the Warhammer. I often get these two pieces because they're pretty good early game and I like to max out my cooldown reduction pretty fast so I can clear fast and it helps my mechanics because uh, I'm often used with having the full cooldown reduction then I often get the uh, Ravenous Hydra and the uh, Death Dance okay here's the late game part here you can choose between having Lord Dominus Regards that's like your normal build and having or getting the Spirit Visage that is actually really on raid on Cal6 because if you have Death's Dance and Raven Hydra, you heal insane. Like tanks can't one on one you because you heal more than they do. But often the normal build is Mercury Treads or Ninja Tabbies, uh, uh, Smite if what you prefer, and Death's Dance, Jomus Ghost Blade, Raven Hydra, and Lord Dominic Guard. Versus heavy AP, you go Mercury Treads. Jo Jomus, you still have it in an early game, or you go Ma. Then you go your normal jungle item. Death's Dance, Remus Hydra. Here you will actually max out your CDR with just these three items. So here, in the late game, you probably will sell your Jomus. You sell it away, and you have this kind of build. Or, if there are a lot of squishes, you have this kind of build. It's, it's a lot of situation what was gonna what you need. But now I'm gonna show you uh, uh, how I will actually clear the young because it, it's a little bit special. So I'm gonna start a game. I'm gonna show you two techniques. Um, I'm gonna pick Cal6. I'm gonna pick my right runes. And I'm, I'm, I'm retarded. I didn't show you my masteries because I'm first time recording this. Okay. I have, of course, sorcery for the extra damage. Double edged sword, extra damage. This actually helps you with your auto attack to get some extra damage through. Presser for the early game, and you want to invade. Like, 
small da like this extra bonus can you actually give you the kill and actually worth it. This your Q gets five more damage and your auto attack five more damage. Is to explain. Is to explain. Dangerous game. Here is what I often choose. I like to go with five more here, but some people like to go with extra damage. But I ha like to have the 45% cooldown reduction with the healing, and it gets to an insane level. And always found a lodge. Sometimes I play with storm research, but I feel it can be like you feel like your damage is not that good in the early game. And I think when you gank in early game, you have like so small opportunities to just get the kills. So, so that when we ha have the room pages set up, I'm just gonna lower the volume. Okay. Just this little legend. There we go. And I'm gonna pick my favorite skin. I'm gonna cut this part out, I think. There's two strategies to clear with Cassix. I'm gonna show the the first, the safer one, the one you wanna use when you like wanna try and learn Cassix, because this is the safe one, you get the most out of it, and it's not that risky. I often use it when I go against good players when I'm playing against Diamond Freeze or something on people like that. Then this is better. But if, if you're like if when I'm smurfing with my friends and or just playing with them, this other strategy I will show you when you're going for the more aggressive early game is much better. But this is the safe one. So I'm gonna show you and you often always always start here. Top lane. You need the first one, you get the blue buff, you get the extra cool reduction, you clear faster and you get your red buff later so that you can use for ganking. I, I get that some people want to go bot because you get two people helping you, but you don't really need it. You have your Q, you have your damage, you're fine. So don't be scared for that. And you're, if you have nice top laners, they won't, won't say fuck you and don't help you. And if you don't help you, I think you can clear it. But uh, anyway, I have my friend here and we're just going to clear this. I'm going to tank it just to show that I will actually be pretty healthy after this. Look, I, I told him to get not that good of a clear. Okay. Here, here, here's a simple trick you can always do. Auto Q W. So always hit the middle one to get hit uh, both the small one to get this clear as fast as possible. And here, now you just need to kite. I often try to kite when my Q cooldown is down, and I always auto Q, auto Q, like auto Q, auto W, auto, auto Q. And there's a super cool tip. If they're at like 150 HP, you can, if you're fast enough, do a auto Q before it even hits you to save, to save some HP. It's a little, you need to be really fast. I f failed right there, but you can do it. So now you go to the wolves. And this is like the same principle as for last one. Here you can kite it up here, but be careful. It will resets. Here you take your Q, because you don't want to gank in early game when you're playing this kind. Uh, so now you go f to this, clear this, clear this, and clear this. Quite simple. Here, auto Q uh, there. These two will die from the the burn, so you get you don't need to auto attack them. And you try to kite this. This is a little hard kite, but I also need, uh, often just give up and try to kill it. There we go. Next here, I always, nearly always, often okay, often I ward here just to be safe. You don't want to be get invaded. Same here. You you always even if you try to aim at the sm one of the small one, just shoot your W in the middle. And here you can actually wait to get your W up again, so you get some extra healing. Okay, now you clear this. Auto clear, clear the small one first. And this is he has a pretty fast clear actually I think like this you're level four you have like seventy five percent of your HP left and you can just clear this and get full HP now you're ready to like invade if you want if they have like a uh, weak jungler because you you can see here that one will spawn now that means that this one will spawn now and the wolf will spawn for him too and you can all gank here oh uh, no one saw that uh, 
or you can just farm up and go B. And uh, as you can see here, I have around enough to buy, as I told you in the early videos. Hmm. You will have enough to buy, probably, here's often, you need to analyze the th things you see around you. But this is probably a good start. The pink order I often place here, here, or here if you want to be safe if they have like someone who invade. Then we're going to see show the next part, who is the one I use. Okay, now I'm going to show you the next technique I have for playing Calcix. This is more when you feel like you're confident and you want to play a little more aggressive. And they have often laners that will give you the opportunity to play aggressive. Like, if they have a Riven top lane, you will do this. If they have some, like a Yasuo mid lane, you will do this. Or if they have just a slow jungler, you can also do this. Because this gives you more options, if if to say. Okay, just same here, this is important. Auto W, there. Auto Q, W. I'm confusing myself. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna try to do that. Ah, it wasn't enough. Well, okay, after you clear the blue, you go to the wolves. You clear this wolf too, because this will give you level 3, and you get the option to neither gank uh, top or mid. I feel like ganking bot early game is quite hard with Kha'Zix. You're, you're still pretty squishy. And if they have someone like a Jin, who's popular now, and they have a fresh, you will maybe die if you don't play right. So here, you can either go top, m mid, uh, and get a gank pretty easy. You can just blow a flash and it's worth it. Or, something you can also do if they have a f slow jungler, you can clear this to get some H extra HP and money. And don't use your leap players trying to f speed this up. And after you clear that, you, you can go in here and uh, often, actually this happens so often, you get a free kill, right there. You don't ward here because they will notice you. You stand here. You kill them, you take this, you take this, you take this. And actually I have tried to do, even if they're not here, I often assume they went B. So then I just, oh, what the happened with that W? Then you just go into the bush, you do like this. Because you won't realize, if they come right now, you just leave. And they and they can't clear it. But right here, um, you just smite it. Here. And even if anything happens, just go B here. But this red is a little more a little more risky because it takes like the same time as the other one, but you don't have nearly as much cash and uh, experience. Well, I'm gonna try to do a little more guys like this. I'm gonna try to do a guide on how to do double jumps in team fights and how to use them, and do a guide how to use your evolved R in the best ways. But if you could be kind, you can just vote in the comments how what you want to see first. Because I will probably make a video tomorrow. Of this topic and as always keep adapting